Two days till Super Bowl Sunday, all eyes will be on the players on the field making those amazing passes and tackles, but some neurologists worry those tackles could be causing traumatic brain injuries in the form of concussions with possibly lasting damage. They're 250 pounds of pure muscle. Machines smashing into one another in what is the most watched and most loved contact sport in the world, football. The game has been played for decades, and now doctors are beginning to see some lasting damage from some of these crushing plays. Some people have terrible memory loss. And remember, these are young, young people, so uh, you, you, you see people who almost act as if they have early onset Alzheimer's or stroke-like symptoms, but they're only in their 20s or 30s. Dr. Sanjay Gupta is a neurosurgeon, but you also probably know him from from CNN, where he is the chief medical correspondent. Dr. Gupta is an expert on traumatic brain injuries, including concussions. A concussion is a brain injury, and I think terms do matter here because I think as soon as you call it a brain injury, everyone's attitude toward it changes a bit from people on the sidelines to the players to the doctors. It's not just getting your bell rung, that's a brain injury. After former San Diego Chargers linebacker Junior Seau committed suicide last year in his home in San Diego, his family donated his brain for research. It was found to have evidence of chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, a degenerative disease that is caused by concussions and other repeated head traumas. Its symptoms include memory loss, mood disorders, depression, and early onset dementia. Seau's family is now suing the NFL for wrongful death. You're not going to hold on to the ball if I can help it. Former NFL player Fred the Hammer Williamson, famous for this signature tackle, knows firsthand the effects of a concussion. We won the game, but I don't remember playing the second half. I don't remember who won the game. I don't remember getting on the airplane and coming back to Kansas City because we were in Buffalo. So I don't remember anything about the game. They told me that I that I had an interception and ran, went back for a touchdown, but I don't remember that. So that was a bad concussion then? It was, I got my bell rung. I got my bell rung. That being said, Williamson believes NFL players know that getting their bell rung is a risk of the game. If you, if you worry about it, go play tennis. Go play a non-contact sport. If you worry about being hurt, if you worry about that kind of thing, then you're in the wrong sport. Roger Goodell, the commissioner of the NFL, is taking the issue of player safety seriously. He plans to pursue suspensions to discipline players who violate player safety rules with actions like hits to the head. He also wants neurosurgeons on the sidelines and longer postseason physicals. I believe the changes we are making to our game will make football better. It will make it safer. Fortunately for Williamson, he says he has no lasting effects from his time on the field. And in Dr. Gupta's opinion, he is lucky. I have three three children. Would you let them play football? Well, my, I, my children are all girls, so I you know I may not be confronted with that decision. If if I had a boy, I you know I'd, I'd be that dad who was very involved, and, and you know I think parents uh, have a role here as well. I, I think you know, football. I played sports when I was growing up. I think there's a great sense of community and collegiality and and sportsmanship that comes from it. But you know I, I wouldn't want my kid to waste his whole life or ruin his brain at a high school level because, uh, you know, the game's not played safely. So I think it can be done. The NFL is currently facing a class action lawsuit filed by more than 4,000 former players and their wives accusing the league of deliberately concealing information about life-altering brain injuries that can be caused by playing football.